More than 150 stakeholders on disabilities and voting issues converged in Boston this week for a public hearing with the United States Election Assistance Commission. Commission Chair Thomas Hicks, a Boston native, presided over the hearing, which featured testimony from election officials and persons with various disabilities. The hearing also featured written testimony from more than 60 persons, all posted on the Commission's website. The goals of this hearing were accomplished for the EAC in terms of hearing from disabled voters about their experiences and how we can work towards formulating some sort of way for them to have um, even more confidence that their votes are being counted independently and accurately. The EAC put together a federal card to, on their voting rights, on disabled folks for their voting rights, uh, so that they can have that in their wallets and in their purses so they can take that to the polls as a reminder for them of what their rights are. Commissioners learn from state and local election officials about improved voting accessibility, although these officials also learned, according to Dion Irish, the chairman of the Boston Election Department. Today's hearing was, was wonderful. It was very powerful, in my opinion. Uh, we got a lot of good feedback that we're already mulling over to see how we can further improve our, our services to make it easier for folks with disabilities. Some of the learnings regarding disabilities came through direct testimony, including this from Paul Spooner, the executive director of the Metro West Center for Independent Living, who explained that many accessibility features benefit all voters, not just those with disabilities. I challenge anyone to explain to me why what's good for non-disabled people can't be perfectly modified or a new system created that encompasses everyone. Um, the example I give you, how many of you fly? Do you have a piece of luggage with wheels on it? What if there weren't curb cuts? You know how hard it is to bump a suitcase up a curb? <laughs> no one does it because they all go to the curb cut. Well, the curb cut wasn't invented for you guys. <laughs> it was invented for me. The hearing, according to EAC Chairman Hicks, is part of a longer communication series that coincides with preparation for the 2016 presidential election. This is all part of our Be Ready 16 campaign to ensure that election officials are ready for primaries and the general election in terms of ensuring that Everyone who wants to cast a ballot, who is eligible to cast a ballot, may do so independently and privately. A video of the hearing and written testimonials are on the Commission's website at eac.gov. The Commission is accepting written testimonials through mid-May at the email address listen at eac.gov.